Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is uh, video two of our JavaScript cookie clicker. Um, and so last lesson, what we did was we created a button that enabled us to click on it. And we just idly click in increasing donuts. What we want to do then this this lesson, we want to add in, we want to add in auto clickers so that at timed intervals, uh, we have workers or, or such um, clicking for us. So to start with, at first, I'm just going to display on the uh, screen next to where we have donuts. So I'm going to say, let's just say workers and workers will do exactly the same as the previous one. We'll say span and we'll just put zero in between and we'll give this an ID of ID. Let's call it number of workers. So this is just a display how many workers there are. So now I've got that there um, underneath this then let's try another button. So let's say button and we'll say buyer worker. Okay, and I'll click equals, we'll leave that with nothing in it just yet because we haven't created the function just yet. So essentially then, what we want is uh, when this button is clicked, we want the number of workers to go up. And then let's say for example, once every 10 seconds, we want there to be an automatic click. And so, they work for us and the number of donuts goes up in a minute. Then afterwards, later on down the line, what we want to do is put a price on this so that, uh, you know, workers, the higher workers cost us some donuts or money. We can do it either way. So let's start by writing a simple function here just to increase um, the workers by one. To be fair, it's exactly the same as what we have here, except what we're going to do is we're going to add a limit later on. So at this point, when we first do it, we'll be able to hire as many workers as we want. Let's do that. I'm just going to copy and paste this. There's nothing else to it. Okay. Except we'll call this one. Let's call this one higher. Um, and so I can take that and I can place that here. So now we have a function that says higher worker. It should run this. Um, oh, and I should as well. I should make another variable. Let's make another variable called workers zero to begin with. And then what we'll do is we'll take donuts here, and increase that by one. And instead of being number of donuts, it should be number of workers. Number of workers, exactly the same as it is here. Um, and then obviously, that should display what workers is. So having done that, if I now click on this, workers now goes up, all good. And obviously really what should happen now is if I've got 10 workers, you know, at least one a second donut should go up. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> to be fair, uh, this, to do this much is nothing different than what we did the previous lesson. So now what we want to do is we want to add to that and we want to add the auto clicker function. So now what I want to do is I want to edit this higher workers function so that when workers are increased by one, so when the button is pressed to in, in, in increase the workers by one, what we want is we want to set a timer. We want every second for workers to hit the fry donut button for us. And so they do the idle clicking. So what we'll do then is we're going to make a change to uh, the higher worker. And in fact, before we do that, let's make a let's make another copy of this. So we want we want one function for when the button is pushed by us here, and then we want a separate button for our workers. So when our workers push the button, we want that separate. So um, I hope that makes sense. What we'll do is we'll say workers workers make donuts, and donuts are still going to go up by one. But what we'll do instead is we'll say plus workers workers multiplied by uh, and there was a variable that we had donuts multiple so we got by one but if that ever changes then there we go. so we'll say however many workers there are multiply that by the multiple which is one and then we'll add that to donuts so then what we'll do here is when we hire a worker We'll say, right, when a worker is hired, 
we want to say um, we want to set an interval so this is a function by the way we want to set an interval which um, we will say uh, workers workers make donuts so they will call that function for us and at the interval of every 10,000 milliseconds which is every 10 seconds but what we'll do is for now we'll keep it to 1000 so we'll keep it every one second just so we see what it looks like so then if I say hire worker then workers goes up by one and now donuts goes up by one as well if I hire a second worker then you can see that it's now going up in twos but there's a problem here so it's going up in a very jagged fashion and it's going up in twos in a wrong way and the problem is is every time this button is pushed it's sending the instruction one more time to the ram um, it's just sending that instruction to our cpu one more time and it's doing it at particular times so rather than doing it um, constantly at the same time each time it's doing this every time the button was pushed it sends a new instruction to the stack what we want is this instruction should only be sent once to the to the cpu so it's not going to be queued up in in the ram more than once so i'm going to make another variable here and i'm going to say just i'm going to give it a silly variable name like r workers working i'm going to begin with false let's say that that's false so we're going to do a check here. We're going to say if our, oh, let's copy that so I'll spell it correctly. If our work is working, if our work is working is equal to false, then what we'll do is we'll say that um, our work is working now equals true. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll run this stuff on the inside. So we'll call that. So now what will happen is this function of, um, sorry, let's just make sure that's correct. Uh, that should be there. That should be there. So yeah, this, this function of working, workers make the donuts, that's only ever going to be called once. And it's only going to be called if working workers is equal to false once it's equal to true workers will increase by one and what will happen is making the workers make donuts we'll call this function um here and that will go up in multiples of how many workers there are but it won't call the function more times than it needs to be called so that should be fine let's try that one more time so now if i say hi workers every second it goes up and if i add a second one it now goes up in twos um, in time. So it doesn't go up faster than it should. And it goes up in literally every second. But workers are increasing. Oh, oh God, there's a mistake here. So I can see the number of donuts is increasing, but the number of workers is not increasing. So what we're saying here is if workers are working, it's not running this line of code here to increase our workers. So if workers are working equals true, okay, you know what it is. I need to put this line here. That should do it. Now if I say, yeah, now it's going up correctly. Okay, cool. So that's kind of us, the second part of our code done. The second stage really is that we have workers working for us and the number of donuts is going up. And what I could do now is I could make that 10,000 milliseconds again. So it increases once every 10 seconds, however many times it has to be clicked. So now that that's done, um, that leaves us with our next step, which we'll do in the next video, which will be to add some money to this. What we'll do is we'll add an option to convert our donuts into money. And we'll add a cost to our button here where we hire workers. So that will limit how many workers can be hired based on how much money that we have so um that'll be the next video until then um try it out guys try to code this for yourselves and i'll join you in the third one thank you